You're watching UNICEF Television. Chinapara Primary School is in the Ranjpur region of Bangladesh. Most of the students consider themselves lucky to have even a primary education. And in this country, only 23% of children go to preschool. We live in a remote area. We have a lot of poverty here. All the students are the children of day laborers and farmers. In Shinapara village, there's always work to do to keep families fed. It's a constant struggle and one that takes a toll on the education of the most vulnerable. If my parents didn't let me go to school, I would have helped them with the work at home. But Leeton's parents wanted more opportunity for him than they had had. Not only is he in school, he's taken on extra responsibility, tutoring two of his younger neighbors, Mujadul and Akamoni. Lessons are fun. The younger children learn rhymes, the alphabet, and the names of colors and animals. We study, play, and do rhymes like head and shoulders and one little finger. Without their knowing it, Leeton is getting the younger children excited about learning and preparing these preschoolers to enter primary school on time and with confidence. It's a far cry from the lives of the children's parents who were forced to leave school early and have scraped by ever since. Akamoni's father owns no land and has few prospects of making money. Aki is studying with Litan. She's doing very well. She studies at home with him. We think this is great. That's why we let her be part of this program. Called Getting Ready for School, a child-to-child -child approach, the program was launched in 2007 by UNICEF and its partners. Its goal is to provide supplementary and cost-effective early learning to the most vulnerable. A year ago, it came to 30 schools across Bangladesh, which were selected for their high dropout and low school completion rates. It's already filling an important gap in the Bangladeshi early education system. The most important thing uh, for this innovation is uh, that it is less costly, it is very much flexible, and as it is community-based, so everybody can see the changes. Leeton and his fellow facilitators tutor their students once a week. Their own teachers provide careful support. Every Thursday at 3 p.m. I meet with the young facilitators. We go through the support texts and we discuss them. The principal and other assistant teachers also join us. The program benefits facilitators as well as students, giving them status in their community and helping them to define their own educational goals. Yes, I have improved. Since going to the Child to Child program, I've learned a lot. My reading is much better. That's been very good for me. It's also been good for Bangladesh, which is working towards universal preschool education. The aim is to introduce child to child in all non-government primary schools that, like Chinapara, have strong community participation. I have seen that enrollment has increased. School dropouts have lessened in the area that have the program. Even though he's just 10, Leeton now knows the long-term importance of education. He hopes to complete his schooling and go into the armed forces. Before getting into the Child to Child program, Leeton was slow in his studies. Since he's been involved, he's much better. He gets more answers right. Before I would need to show him, now he can manage on his own. But despite the simplicity and low cost of the program, more help is needed if children like Akamoni are going to overcome the obstacles of extreme poverty. I hope that Aki will grow up educated. I hope to see her become a doctor, but I don't know how to make it happen. I'm poor. How will I pay for her studies? 
In Chinapara village, life continues as it has done for generations. But UNICEF and its partners believe that this one program could have an enormous benefit as Bangladesh strives towards universal preschool education. The Child to Child pilot program has been a success in countries with strong community participation. UNICEF wants to expand it to other countries and regions, giving thousands more children the chance to break the cycle of exclusion from education and create fulfilling lives for themselves. This is Chris Niles reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.